Alright, it's time to go slow mo. <laughs> oh my god. Hi everybody, it's 314 React here. Today we're going to be looking at Trepang 2 because it's had a deal on Steam and I've heard a few things about it. I think it's the spiritual successor to Fear. Let's quickly look at the options. Obviously I'm running this on an RTX 4090 with a Ryzen 7700X and 32 gigs of RAM. So it should be running pretty smoothly. So this uses Unreal Engine 4. Found that the best FOV for 4K is 120. It's one of those games where 104 isn't quite enough to get the right FOV for me. So I've set that to 120. Everything else is set up to be epic and as high as possible. It also has NVIDIA DLSS and I've also just noticed here there's an unlock insane settings button so let's click that. Okay so now everything is set on insane and some things don't go to insane but some things do. So we should be getting maximum bullet holes, maximum effects, textures and shadows, post processing and insane view distance. So that should be absolutely everything maxed out in terms of graphics. So let's see how this runs. Let's go on to hard. Let's do this. So yeah this is very fair right now. The long hallway. Team 17. Don't they work on worms? Yeah, they did. But they're also a publisher. So it's definitely got a sort of fear feeling, but it's also got a bit of a crisis feeling to it as well, I'm, I'm getting here. Okie dokie. So there's very little context as to what's going on here. Look at those textures. They are pretty extreme textures. They're really nice. Again, still at 98 FPS. Well, really, I think the FPS may, if it's going to drop, it'll drop when we get to some gory action. Oh, very 2000s style ragdolls there. Oh boy. It's pretty tense already. It's also definitely got a bit of a John Wick sort of vibe. Oh yeah, the shadow's going by there, that's cool. It's the event horizon shaft. See, this is where it starts to feel very fear. The shadow's there. This sort of hallway is... Fear central. Here we go. Okie dokie. Again, never played this before, so I'll be really interested to see how the gun combat feels. Nice little gun here as well. Was that a USP or something? Very nice. It feels really good. The only thing I will say is that it feels like there's maybe a little bit of mouse acceleration or something. Makes my aiming feel a little bit off. Stealth elements to the game. So I'm guessing you have a bit of a choice of how you handle these situations. Oh yes. Okay. It's starting to feel like it may have a quite a bit of options in combat. A bit like Crisis 2 or something. Oh yeah. Come on, this is... Oh, look at that reload. This is definitely inspired by John Wick. The torches through the light there, through the fog. Oh my god, okay. Okay. Oh, this is Crisis 2 controls. It is Crisis 2 controls. Q slows down time. And E turns you invisible. That's awesome. Oh, that's some satisfying shooting. <laughs> Another gun. There we go. Nice. Vector. I think you just auto pick up. It's a nice little animation. I think you auto pick up health and uh, armor and stuff. Oh, baby. It's the uh, Half Life shotgun. <laughs> oh, damn. Yep, sorry. Nope, that's definitely the fear shotgun. My god. Slow mo. Oh, look at the particle effects. The blood. 
the sparks. I do love a game with some good particle effects. Whoa. Whoa. I don't think I've seen the FPS drop yet either. Ah, oh, you don't get the sword. You must get the sword. Oh, if they don't let you have a sword, then that's going to be a letdown. Can I crouch jump? No, can't crouch jump. Ooh. Ah, so you can just slide with the crouch button. You don't have to press the alt key. Oh, bigger gun. Yes, please. This guy gets out of breath really quickly. Oh, look at that. The glowing bullet hole. And then the sparks coming off it as well. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yes. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They throw a lot of grenades. Holy crap, they throw a lot of grenades. God. This feels really smooth. Oh my god. Whoa! Oh my god! They really, really don't hold back on grenades. Oh my god, this is awesome. This is wicked. <laughs> what kind of fire extinguisher is that? Oh my god. God, holy crap. Shield guys are really annoying. Oh, it's got that classic parallax occlusion map bullet holes. It's definitely got that 2000s ragdoll vibe. Which people seem to lament the removal of in more modern games. But some games suit that ragdoll and some games don't. For instance, if you were to make a new Half-Life game, you wouldn't want the ragdoll from Half-Life 2. Because it just doesn't suit it. But a game like this, it definitely does suit it. Oh, hello. Customized weapons? Definitely got that crisis vibe, hasn't it? And you can apply little skins to it. See, I like when they put skins in games as customization, but they aren't ridiculous. Oh, ho, ho, yes. Because what you do, you put the laser on it. And then you've got the gun from Metal Gear Solid 1. That's brilliant. Whoa! Oh, oh. Oh my god, these guys are fast. Holy crap. Whew. Oh my god. Hopefully ammo starts to come a bit more abundant going forward. Oh boy. Look at that reload. Very nice. The lifts thing is cool. Yeah, I just wish there was a bit more ammo laying around. Seems like you run out of ammo really quickly. But maybe that's intentional to get to switch guns and stuff. Oh boy. The explosion effect. I do love the sparks. I love when they get sparks right in video games. Like long lasting, lingering sparks that bounce around. Okay, so we've got a lot of dudes all arriving at once. Uh... Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, health, health, health. Oh, my God. I'm really getting hammered here. Oh, boy. Oh, 
Oh god, he turned around quick. Jesus. Okay. Woohoo! Oh my god. That's doing so much damage. I do sort of have a bit of regenerating health. That's good. Damn! Okay, this bit is getting pretty hard. Oh my god, that guy. So I'm guessing when it says high value target, it means boss, basically. Oh god. I just wish there was more ammo for these guns. But again, I guess it's to get you constantly switching out. Here we go. God. God, out of ammo again. Oh, I think we did it. Okay. The graphics actually look significantly more impressive on the outside areas. Still very UE4 looking, which, you know, sounds obvious because it's UE4, but... Oh, that's pretty nice. Look at that. I think that's some nice, really nice parallax occlusion mapping on those bricks there. Still running really smooth as well. Oh, yep, yeah, the classic screen space reflections there. But that water looks really nice. Reminds me a little bit of the water on uh, Halo 1. So there's quite a lot of customization in this game, which I had no idea about. So you can actually make your character look like whatever you want, and you have to complete missions to unlock it. Doesn't look like there's any microtransactions and nonsense. The only thing is, some of these don't really suit the tone of the game, but at least you don't have to pay for them, I don't think. Yeah, complete combat sim. So you, yeah, you just unlock these for actual gameplay. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. So you've got this little area you can customize. Go do little practice things. So you can go into the combat simulator. You can hoard endless survival. Unlock missions, complete missions. Yeah, you've got lots of unlocks here. Wow, lots of cool little maps to play on. It's got a very old school sort of feeling to this game. And by old school, I mean it has content. That's some uh, replayability right there. There you go. Now I select the missions. Oh, look at that. That's cool. You can replay missions and select the next mission, and it's a lot like the map from Command & Conquer. Let's check out the Pandora Institute. Looks like there's also a list of high-value targets. God, there's a lot more of this game than I thought. Alright, let's go check out this mission. I had no idea this had like a base of operations in it and stuff. I thought it was just a kind of linear game. It's like it's taken all the good bits of modern gaming, all the stuff from classic gaming, and melded them into one. Basically just all the good things about gaming it's put into one. Oh boy. Yeah, this game's going to take quite a bit of getting used to. Oh yes. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Sometimes there's so much going on it's actually hard to see but kind of like that. It's kind of the chaos you need sometimes. I don't really know how it's taken me this long to play it. Oh god, it feels so good to play. Oh 
So it'll take a while for me to get used to it. Yeah, at the moment, I'm not so great. Oh, no. Someone go invisible. It's just the thing. It's sort of the game where there's certain ways to handle enemies. And you need to get used to that. And integrate it into the combat cycle. But it definitely feels like the kind of game where if you die, it's your fault. And not the game just being ludicrously unfair. Which is good. Oh god, it's that sort of thing that's really hard to find the balance on in games. Wish the character didn't run out of breath so fast. It still looks very UE4, but it's very clean. Clean UE4. And the mouse acceleration thing I don't think feels too bad. If it even is mouse acceleration, I don't know. Whoop, here we go. Look at all the smashable bottles there, the environmental act uh, interactivity. So good. Does feel quite optimised. I don't think I've seen the frame rate drop once below 90. Oh boy. For some reason the NVIDIA overlay decided not to record there. And I had to press the record button a number of times, which then gave that guy enough time to turn around and attack me. Is annoying. Again, why is NVIDIA's software so buggy when they're a multi-billion dollar company? We'll never know. Oh, look at that. Is there like a metal one? Stripey burnt steel. Oh, man. See, look, you have a reason to play through these missions. Oh, God, I really want to unlock that. Extreme difficulty on a mission. So some of these skins might not quite suit the game, at least as far as I've seen it, but they do look pretty cool. And they're all unlockable by just playing the game. And look how many there are. And they're free, and they look better than skins you'd pay like 10 quid for in other games. There is hope for gaming yet. Oh boy. Woo! Oh yeah. It's definitely got that John Woo sort of feeling as well. Which is obviously what the original fear had. I haven't seen many much sort of horror from it yet. So obviously fear was very much John Woo sort of film meets Doom. Maybe there will be a bit of a horror aspect to it later. I'm trying to keep an eye on the frame rate as the action unfolds. Dr. Emerson is in that tower. We need to find a way inside. All right, it's time to go slow mo. God. There's a weapon upgrade bit. Oh, suppressor for a shotgun. That's going to be one thick suppressor. Yep, there you go. <laughs> oh, let's go for a ooh, olive drab. There we go. Even passes the uh, water test. Look at that. Oh, bizarrely, the thing healed itself. I'm guessing the bullet holes don't last forever. But there you go. One is going to this fresh, but I've done a bit of research here. There's no multiplayer and or co-op, which is fine. I think the game has enough content in it that it's fine just for single player. And yeah, there's no, I don't think there's any microtransactions in it. So it's it's one of those games where it's 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 actually a game. Oh boy, oh, I've really messed this one up. It's actually a game that has content in it, and I think it could be easily seen as being an old school shooter, but it it isn't. It's got quite a few modern aspects to it. But like I say, it just takes the best from old gaming and new gaming, which is exactly what you want. You want the best of the old, the best of the new, right, overall? Oh boy, I'm messing this area right up. Because it's not as if everything new is bad and everything old is good, or the other way around. These shield guys are going to annoy me. Well, he's... He got turned into a mist pretty quickly. 
think it's another little mini boss dude around here. I don't think I'm ready for hard mode yet. I'm going to go to normal because I'm just not ready. Soundtrack is awesome as well. It's got that very Mick Gordon sort of sound to it. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's no way that guy's still alive. There's no way. Oh, he is still alive. Uh... Oh no. God damn. Why haven't I been playing this game all along? I don't understand. I literally just thought it was like a fear. A homage to fear sort of game. I didn't know it had all this to it. Run. I don't think I'm good enough to get past this bit yet. I've already had to do a Cody Miller and drop down to normal. I'd love to see this with ray tracing, but uh, I imagine the... Oh no, slide, slide, slide! I imagine the uh, FPS wouldn't be too good with it. Given the amount of lighting effects and things that are going on. Holy crap. I got him, I got him, I got him. Health, thank god. Okay, I think that will wrap up the video there. This game is awesome. I had no idea it was going to be this awesome. I played it completely from blank and it took me by surprise. Uh, it grew from a single person making it to four members after posting public demos. So yeah, there's been public demos out for a while, but the game itself is relatively new, the full release. You're saying there's four people that made this game? You're telling me that massive teams with millions of pounds can't properly finish a game because of executive interference, obviously. But four people left to it can make this incredible game. Wow. That doesn't show you the problem with the gaming industry, but games like this give it hope they really do drop a like let me know what you think if you played this game yourself does it exceed fear i think it does thanks for watching i hope everyone is staying safe and i will see you in the next video